Hey there, I'm Eric and Dead by Daylight has some of the most interesting lore of any game I know. Sadly, you don't get to see a lot of it in game, so I thought, why not make a video on the entire lore of Dead by Daylight. I divided this video in five categories, which I think are the main parts of the lore. Let's begin with the Entity. Everything in Dead by Daylight revolves around the Entity. It's an ancient, powerful spider god that abducts people and other beings from all dimensions in the multiverse in all kinds of different timelines. It stalks them for weeks or even months to make sure that they are the right candidate and then drags them to another dimension, the Entity's realm. Why? Well, the Entity feeds off of emotions, so it tries to find people that will produce as much emotion as possible in its realm. And the way it does that is Trials. Trials are the actual games you play in Dead by Daylight, where the Entity puts survivors against killers to try and make them scared, terrified, feel hope or even triumphant if they escape. The Trials are only there to extract emotions from the killers and survivors, which the Entity then feeds on. Realms in which the Trials take place are different areas from the survivors or even the killers lives, recreated and altered by the Entity. In the Trials, survivors have to repair generators to power the exit gates and escape, but the killer needs to prevent that. If a survivor is sacrificed on a hook, the Entity takes them. But, as you might know, death is not an escape. In the end, it doesn't really matter if the survivors escape or die. If they die, the Entity will restore them and wipe their memory, ready to fight in another trial. If they escape, they just get sent back to the campfire, ready to fight again. This goes on and on, until the killers and survivors are drained of their emotional energy. But what then? The Void is a sub-dimension of the Entity's realm, where drained survivors and killers get tossed to rot for the rest of eternity. It's not clear if they're still alive at this point, but I would assume so. So if the Entity throws you in the Void, you just lie there, drained but still conscious, for the rest of time. Fun! <laughs> so far, we don't know if there's any way to leave the Entity's realm or the Void, but there is a way to be in the realm without participating in the Trials. The Observer is someone who managed to get into the Entity's realm, driven by his obsession with it and a desire to destroy it once and for all. He discovered a tower in a sub-realm that is shielded from the Entity and allows him to, well, observe. Keep records and archives. Using a device called the Auris, he's able to see through the fog and look for memories and stories within the Entity's realm. However, he himself is a prisoner, unable to escape and go back to the real world. There's also a mysterious ally trying to reach out to him in the realm, someone we don't know a lot about yet. In game, he is the one writing the tomes and telling us about the Entity and the Trials. The Blight is one of the killers in Dead by Daylight, but they used to be human at one point. Talbot Grimes was a chemist obsessed with the Blight serum. He found a way into the Entity's realm and even experimented with the serum on some killers. As it turns out, his serum is made of flowers called Blighted Cankers. Once a year, they bloom and infest the Entity's realm. The Entity has to purge the realm to get rid of them, so they are the only thing we know of that can harm the Entity. It is also able to power up killers and help them defy the Entity. So, if there is a way to escape the realm, I'd say it has something to do with these flowers and the Blighted Serum. And that's most of the lore of Dead by Daylight in one short video. 
I of course didn't go over everything, for example there's a ton more lore about the Observer, but this should give you a really good idea about the main parts. If you think I missed anything, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Huge shout out to my Aki code leaders on YouTube and Patreon, Callum Wally, Capital Clyde, Data, Jeff the Sea Dragon, Just Archeo, and Limeate Slush. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!